desperate right here, guys. I just had to burn something. I know that some of you probably won't even care about this, but I figured it's here, so why not? So here I have a three wick burning here in my living room in the scent Eucalyptus Mint and Herbs number no. 5. And this one says, the crisp aroma of freshly cut garden herbs complements invigorating eucalyptus mint and a fragrance that is the freshest of herbal scents. So very quickly, um, for those of you that don't follow and keep up with, you know, the test scent world, this is a test scent that was released, or that wasn't released, in a collection called the Eucalyptus Mint and dot 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 collection. And basically it had... Um, it's just eucalyptus mint blended with like random other scents like eucalyptus mint and lilac, apple, guava, you name it. They had it. They had about eight of them. No, they had eight of them. And this was one that was only released in wallflowers and room sprays. Um, you know, a lot of us have our own theories as to why something doesn't happen, but I think the most valid of them all, and you know, I've heard them from higher up. Um, you know, maybe they don't have enough fragrance oil to complete a fragrance or um, it didn't pass the burn test. So those are the more like reasonable, valid, um, I guess, reasons as to why something doesn't make the cut to release nationwide. You just never know. But with that being said, this one, I guess, you know, no one had it. All the test stores, it was out. So finally, semi-annual sale time comes around, and my friend, Miss Aldine Queen, she's like, I have something for you. I'm like, uh-oh, what do you have? And it's eucalyptus mint and herbs. I'm like, that doesn't exist. You're right. She's like, check it out. And there it was. So I'm like, okay, of course I had to have it. So here it is, and let's get into the review. So as you can see, flawless excellence. The burn is amazing. You have a really good burn. The wicks are not thick, they are not thin, they're the medium sized um, white wicks, really skinny wicks, but don't worry, they're getting the job done, so no complaints on my end. And these wicks, you know, they bang, they bust, it, it just, it depends on the actual candle when you get it, so you never know, it's always a gamble with these candles still to this day, but that's another story. But um, you can see the wax pools nice and deep and even. I lit the candle and within let's say I'm gonna say 10 to 15 minutes get a nice deep even wax pool um, the wax melts out pools completely and the flames are just totally high like let me show you really quickly just so I can I like bump my knee against the thing but up close and personal there are the flames dancing wickedly high and of course that mushroom top on the wick. When you have a mushroom top on your wick, it just always helps to ensure that the flames are going to get a lot bigger and thicker and wider. And when you have flames like that, it's going to melt your wax a lot more smoothly and consistently, and that gives you a better burn overall, and hopefully it'll give you a better throw. No guarantees as to the throw, but for sure, when your wicks and um, flame perform like that, it's going to give you the best burn. Now the actual throw. So the throw is really strong. It's not like choke you out strong. It's just kind of like pleasant, strong. You can smell it all over. Um, it's filling up my entire living room, lingering into the dining room, lingering to like the end of my house. So you can smell it. So that's a plus in the throw area. The actual set, yeah, you know, if I were to compare this to something, I would say this is similar to White Barn Summer with a lighter eucalyptus mint tone. I've talked about eucalyptus mint, for, but for those of you that don't remember what I said, to me eucalyptus mint seems like it's basically BBW's take on it. Like, I when I get a mint or a eucalyptus scent, I want it to be straight from like the park or, you know, from the nature. I don't want it to smell, and these scents usually end up smelling like cologne. So you really just never know with these type, but it's the standard eucalyptus mint, eucal or mint, spearmint scent with herbs, and I can't even pretend like I can smell herbs. I really don't. I just smell, it's kind of like a shampoo-y type scent. I don't know, but they put herbs in here. Like, I don't smell basil, don't smell 
parsley. I don't smell anything that could be like a fresh herb, even a spicy herb. I just don't smell anything like that. So um, I'm just going to write this off as um, yeah, just okay. If you see it, outlet, grab it up, test it out. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother with it. Um, this is actually a third day burn. With this one, since it's not really like in rotation, no one really cares, I figured who cares when I burn it, like it's whatever. So that's that and that's pretty much all I have to say about this candle. <laughs> so thank you so much for listening and watching. Of course, you have to comment, rate, subscribe. That's a must, mandatory. And as always, God bless you and I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks. Love you much. Bye.